still not gay. Thank you. A man and a corn husk, and really great gifts. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Masillis, and this is your regularly scheduled programming. And I think that today's theme is gifts that just keep on giving. You know, kind of like Oprah's favorite things, only I don't have any money and you won't get hit with a $7,000 tax bill for a Pontiac. Iowa Senator Larry Craig is back to work on Capitol Hill and he changed his commute up a bit. He reportedly flew to D.C. through the Denver airport instead of the one in Minneapolis where the toilet tango went down. And an update on that famous bathroom, actually. Officials in Minneapolis say it's getting a makeover. They're going to put in longer stall dividers to keep those fingers from doing the walking. Wood carving would be much easier. Well, here's another Iowan with a hobby, Leo Clark. He whittles miniature shotguns out of corn stalks. And KCCI reporter Steve Carlin provides my favorite local news stand-up of the day. You can even load Leo's guns. This is a single-barrel, 12-gauge shotgun the teeny tiny shotgun shell made of the tassel stem. Well, thank you, Steve. And if a cornstalk shotgun is not on your Christmas list, maybe something here is. The 100th annual Neiman Marcus Christmas book came out. How about an 8 by 3 foot media wall? It's a giant monitor for all your online needs. And at $100,000, I'm going to save the box because I'm probably going to need a place to live in. Here's the deal. You say nothing about my hairline. And I say nothing about the candy bar in your purse. Or a Swami conversational robot. For just $75,000, he'll tell your fortune and be quite an icebreaker at all your cocktail parties. Or you could just go to YouTube and watch videos of John B. from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Mecca lecka high, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lecka high, mecca jumbie ho. Well, check out our blog at cbsnews.com slash ISP and get back to work. <laughs> of 100% corn. I just like the looks of it. The 100th annual Neiman Marcus Christmas book. What? 